Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you for tuning in with Dr. Leisha the Preacher. And today I'm sharing a reading, an angel message, and maybe a few oracle cards with my Leos. Hi, Leos. We are just days away from our season and our reason. Okay. All right. I know we ready. We've been ready all year. We just been waiting for our turn. I love and respect all the zodiac signs, but I'm a Leo. Leo sun. Leo uh, rising. And then I have Taurus moon. I have a Taurus moon energy too. <laughs> so I, I need to do more research on Taurus is what I need to do because the moon is a lot of who you are, you know, who we are, you know, our personality, you know. The Leo part is just how we, not just, but is how we present ourselves to the world. But the moon... really tells a lot too so I have a Taurus moon so our angel message for today is surrender your battles yes absolutely surrender your battles and it says the angels are asking you to hold your peace and surrender the battle to them the angels because God does encamp his angels around about us for protection. Yes, he does. His angels. His angels. Amen. You know, the enemy has his own set of angels too, the fallen ones. But um, God has his angels and his angels the ones are the ones that keep us safe and protected you know thank you Lord for sending your angels into our life to help us get through each day each and every day thank you Jesus thank you thank you thank you hallelujah hallelujah Thank the Lord. Leos, Leos, I'm so excited. I'm an August 5th baby. My Leos, what month are you? What month are you, Leos? Ooh. <laughs> what, what, no, not what month, what day? Because some of us are July Leos and some of us are August Leos. So which month are you? And then what day? Which day are you? My daughter is a... She's a July 30th Leo. Mm -hmm. And I have a son that is a August 18th Leo. And I have a grandson that's an August 7th Leo. And my mom is an August 2nd Leo. And I have a great niece that's August 2nd. And they are 60 years apart, my mom and my great niece, which is her great granddaughter. So anyway, we have an oracle card, and it's the ship card, the travel card, meaning that it's time to get the moving. Get the moving, move around, stop being stagnant, you know. I happen to be taking a cruise later this year in December. Hubby and I are going on a cruise together, and that'll be fun. So I am putting on my traveling shoes. And packing my swimsuit too. Amen. So yes, Leos, we feel like getting out there and doing our thing. That's what we feel like, you know. <laughs> we really do. And that's what these cards mean. You know, we're getting real excited. We're ready to either be a trip or go on a trip. <laughs> let me read. Um, you know, let me just pull another card. Yeah. Uh, oh, 
I pulled the same cards. <sighs> this is the bottom of the deck. And this is the um, casket card, meaning go ahead, bring closure to everything. Because you know how it is when you're uh, traveling or you're moving forward. You know, you bring closure to as much as you can around you all in your life. You bring as much closure as possible. And then you move on to travel. That's right. That's exactly what happens. <laughs> Leos. And our birthday months and birthday season means a lot to us it really does it it sets the pace um for the whole year our attitude going into our season it, it really does it you know our attitude going in our attitude during our season and our attitude coming out impacts the whole year depending on how we play our cards you know, our year will be well or our year will be stressful, depending on our, our attitudes as we embrace our season. So, um, I'm going to pull another, um, pull another oracle card I don't usually do three but why not you know I don't want to pull my tarot so we're gonna do another oh yes 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 we have 13 we have the youthful energetic we're having a good season I already predicted it. I already knew. <laughs> I claim it that we're having a good season this year. Does that mean everything will be perfect all the time? Oh, no, of course not. But on here, it looks like we have the jack, the jack of um, spades up there. And let me look up this card 13 again. I know exactly what it means, but let me see. Look up something here. The child, Jack of Spades, and it means small, young, innocent. The innocence. Yeah, that's one thing about um, when we bring things to an end, you know, something begins and begin it with an innocence. An innocence about you, meaning that you want to inquire, find out, explore what's new and what's coming. <laughs> you know your ship is coming in. You know you're about to sail. <laughs> you know you're about to move on. But your attitude and how you approach it. And then on this card, we have two, four, six, eight, the nine of diamonds the nine of diamonds and the nine of diamonds definitely means something's coming to an end but it's not going to be negative this ending is positive you're going to gain from this ending because this ending leads perfectly into a new beginning and your attitude again your attitude dictates how our season will progress for the rest of the year though, how it impacts the rest of the year. So um, that's good to keep note of. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pull a closing, aw, closing angel message and it's forgiveness. Forgiveness is always in order. Forgiveness is always in order. And it says, forgiveness is the first step toward letting go of hurt and emotional pain. It heals only you. That innocence again. 
you know, forgiveness and innocence, it all works together to keep yourself in ready position, ready to serve the Lord, keeping yourself fresh and available. So what's Leo's? Come on, let's, let's get it together. Let's get it together. Let's get pumped up. Let's get pumped up, steer up, steer up our spiritual gift, and let's roar. You know, let's be heard this season. We ain't got to be shy. We ain't got to be quiet. We just need to release, let go, and soar, sail off. I know in December, I'm planning on getting on my cruise to sail on off, you know. So my attitude going into our season is I'm going to be coming out of my season getting ready to travel. So I'm going to have that mindset. It's like we have to set ourselves up and prepare ourselves for the different things to come. Because we all can anticipate what's to come by the way, that, by the decisions we make and the steps and actions that we take. We can plan accordingly, you know. Only the perfect will of God will take place. Have faith in that of course but our decisions set us up for what's to come and so I know that I want to travel at the end of the year because I know that I tend to go into a depression in the winter but if I go on vacation before I leave I tend to do better and I tend to do better when I live in the south during the winter months. When I'm in the south during the winter months, I tend to do better than when I'm in the north. Yeah, I think I said in the south. Yeah, in the winter, uh, summer months. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Hold on. I tend to do better during the winter when I'm in the south. I hope I said that. I don't remember. And you know, I, I just don't want to be up north in the winter. It's, 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 it makes me feel depressed, you know. I do better with sun. And that's because we're Leos. The sun fuels us. You know, it's our kryptonite. <laughs> the sun is our kryptonite. <laughs> All right, because you know I'll just keep talking. But thank you for tuning in with Dr. Alicia the Preacher. And I just want to encourage you to let go and bring in what's new. Be ready to travel. Uh, keep your spirit and energy up. But, but be prepared when you embrace new things. Because new things come with new challenges too. And we got to be prepared. Do your research. Alright, thank you. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.